Streaming on CBSN Los Angeles, I'm Juan Fernandez. Our top story, tragedy in Burbank where a street race killed three innocent people in a fiery multi-car crash. Two other people were hurt. It happened late last night on North Glen Oaks Boulevard and Andover Drive. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live with more on the crash, the victims, and the serious charges those drivers could be facing. Jeff. Juan, police say that two cars were racing in this direction when they collided with four innocent victims who were trying to make a left at that light. Let's go ahead and show you a picture of one of the victims who was killed. He has been identified by a friend as Serain Baker, seen here from this Instagram account. Now, Alex Perez, who's a friend, says that the two of them formed a tight friendship when they played football together at John Burroughs High School in Burbank. Perez says that his friend Serain was an artist and a musician. He actually meant the world to me, you know. He was a he was an older guy to me, older brother. Um, he always looked after me, always good laughs and everything. Always, he always checked up on his friends, family all the time. Many people they would all know. Like he was just a a good guy. Like he would always check up on everyone and everything. The aftermath gives you a sense of the impact that caused this Volkswagen to break apart. The crash killed three people and sent a fourth to the hospital. <laughs> Derek Sheridan captured the intense flames that erupted from the car after he heard a series of collisions from his home in Burbank. The whole thing was hard to see. Yeah, it was rough. I heard the biggest collision in my life. Some of the debris, like the sunroof, landed in Dweep Biswa's front yard. The burning VW ended up next to his hedges. Burbank police say traffic cameras captured this Kia and this Mercedes racing down Glen Oaks when they collided with the four innocent victims in the VW, which was turning left on Andover Drive. The Kia crashed into some parked cars after the collision. Neighbors were able to pull that driver out and placed him on the sidewalk. He wasn't talking, but he just looked like he was in a lot of pain. He was just grimacing and just, uh, he was quiet. That man has been hospitalized while police have been interviewing the driver and passenger of the Mercedes. Everywhere, like Slack Flyer, I could feel the heat on my body, you know, and it, it was terrible. Biswal says he bought his home two months ago and put up this wall last month as a barrier because cars often race down his street. Overnight, this man came to the scene trying to find out whether his daughter was involved in the crash. You know, just couldn't. It's hard. I feel for the family and I'm praying for him right now. And so far, there have been no arrests in this case and investigators have not released any of the names involved. We are live in Burbank, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. Mm, what a tragedy, Jeff. Thank you. The city of LA prepared.